Welcome to the uh, March 27, 2017 special call working group or session. And I'm going to call this meeting to order. Just uh, a couple admin notes. We're, uh, we're going to cover tabs one to five this afternoon. And then everything after tab five we covered tomorrow night at the seven o'clock session. But we have a, another small minor, minor ad here. The uh, CIDs like a, a make a presentation and the board has agreed to hear them at the outset. So who's first? And don't fight among yourselves. Okay. All right. I see the arm wrestling going on back there. So we have the uh, Cumberland CID. So welcome. We should have specified who was first. Well, now, it comes before two. Instead of ten. So they get the guy's <laughs> well, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, we just went from not on the agenda to at the podium. So um, thank you very much uh, for your consideration of uh, our schedules and allowing us to make this presentation today. Um, as I think you all know, we uh, annually come and present to the board with regard to the uh, now three CIDs in um, Cobb County. And um, then we uh, are available to answer any questions that you all may have about, about our operations. And so we're pleased when this process first started, it was just the Cumberland CID. And then in 1996, we were joined by a town center. And then within the last few years, we've been joined uh, by Marietta Gateway as well. And all three of us are here. So I'll be uh, brief to allow time uh, for my colleagues. But um, as you know, I serve as chair of the Cumberland Community Improvement District. We have Malika Rivers here, who is our executive director, and on behalf of the uh, board, we're pleased to make this presentation. Um, we're now entering our 30th year. Uh, Cumberland CID was formed in um, May of 1988. Um, so as we enter into, uh, go beyond May of 2017, we'll be entering our 30th year. We're the oldest CID in, the, uh, in Georgia, in the metropolitan Atlanta area. And um, we uh, have made a significant investment in our community over the last 30 years. And how do I change slides? Go. <laughs> we, uh, we are relatively small. We represent 5.4% um, of, uh, of the area of Cobb County. Excuse me. We represent 5.4% of... Um, uh, of our impact on the Georgia economy and 33% of Cobb County's economy, uh, although we're only 6.5 square miles. Next slide. Um, commercial properties make up 28% of the CID, but 60% of the total value. Um, so our commercial property owners invest in their own futures and uh, represent a very large portion of um, of the economic impact that occurs in Cobb County. Next slide. Um, we have invested uh, since we were formed in 1988, uh, or will invest through our life, which is, ends in 2024 and less extended, $180 million and leveraged $2.5 billion in investment throughout the CID. Uh, we currently have either completed or are, are building in conjunction with Cobb County uh, 95 projects. And I meant to say that in my opening. Um, everything that's done through the Cumberland CID and through the CIDs in general is done through a public-private partnership with y'all here in Cobb County. Next slide. Um, right now we're experiencing an economic boom in uh, the Cumberland CID. Uh, we will surpass $5.5 .5 billion in private and public investment in the CID uh, by the end of 2018. Next slide. Um, this is, this is just to say that we have 40 million square feet of existing and 9.5 million of new towers and new projects underway, new office towers, a lot of retail, hotel, residential units, um, tremendous amount of activity. We're, we're experiencing an economic boom in the CID, and we'd like to think that a lot of that has to do with our partnership with Cobb County and the investments that we've made together. Next slide. Hey, Ted, yes. just for the education of the audience, what is a Class A building? Well, uh, kind of in the eye, eye of the beholder, but technically uh, in office buildings, tall, 
is, is one measurement. Uh, amenities and services that are provided. Virtually all of the buildings above 15 stories in the Cumberland CID are, are uh, listed as Class A buildings. And then you would have the six-story, which would tend to be Class B buildings, and then you would have the two-story, which would tend to be uh, Class C buildings. And that, those, that's a general statement, but it, it pretty much follows that. Um, right now, we have $228 million of capital improvements underway. Uh, that includes trail and park improvements, pedestrian and beautification improvements. The pedestrian are particularly important to us with the increasing amount of pedestrian activity that we're going to see, and then 10 roads, bridges, and traditional uh, type improvements. Next slide. Uh, just to quickly go over some of our next slide successes, um, I think you all will recognize this slide. We're proud to have uh, the Atlanta Braves in the Cumberland CID. Uh, first uh, season, first um, preseason game is this Friday. So um, they're about to get underway. Next slide. Um, and these are just general slides that show the, uh, the growth and prosperity within the district. Next slide. Um, this shows, uh, again, the investment that's being made, particularly in the hot lanes, um, the billion-dollar project that's coming through the CID. Next slide. Um, again, a, a slide of the, of the same uh, project. You can see the gallery in the foreground on the left and the Braves Stadium at the top of the slide. Next slide. Um, we've made an almost $10 million investment in, tra in our trail system. We're very proud of it. Our adjacency to the Chattahoochee Natural Park, National Park allows us. Um, you can leave your office and be walking in the National Park within about a 10-minute period in, in, in Cumberland's very unique amenity that we provide. Next slide. What's the difference between the brown and green? I'm sorry? Line? What's the difference between the brown and green lines here on this map? I'm sorry. The sorry. brown and green lines on the map, but what's the difference between the two? Um, Malaga? <laughs> okay. 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 So the brown lines are trails that are already complete, and the green lines are program trails. And then somewhere in there is a color code for urban areas. The gray. No, oh, not this map. Okay. And the gray and the gray area is the Cumberland CID boundary, right? Okay, great, thanks, Mr. Chairman. I'm maturing. Ten years ago, I would have just answered that question, even though I didn't know the answer. So, um, great question. <laughs> this is again uh, just a, a picture of one of our trails, right adjacent to an office building, but also adjacent to Rottenwood Creek. Next slide. Um, this is a picture of the. Uh, pedestrian bridge, which, uh, which is going to be completed momentarily, that connects the inside of 285 at the Galleria across the street to the, uh, to the battery. Next slide. Um, this is uh, Windy Ridge Parkway. Uh, Windy Ridge Parkway Bridge was already in place, but you can see on uh, the upper part of the slide a significant pedestrian facility that's being added to that so that people who park on the interstate north side can come across and access the park on foot. Next slide. Um, are there any additional questions? And I tried to move quickly because you, you have two more presentations to come. All right. Thank you. I think next is going to be um, ah, next is going to be uh, the Marietta uh, Gateway CID.